Our newsletters from around the world, mainly out of Florida, but they're strongly recommending 10% in gold. Do you have a wow. any comment okay. on gold? I, I keep getting asked this one. Um, <coughs> you only own gold for two reasons. One is you think the world's falling apart, and therefore you just want to protect yourself. Um, so based on that, I don't think it is falling apart quite as bad as it was six months ago. Okay, so I would have had gold, and I would not have, you know, gold last October, November looked pretty good idea to me, <laughs> but today it doesn't look quite so good. Um, inflation is the other reason. Um, I do Pretty not. All this money doesn't that cause inflation? I don't believe you're going to see an outbreak of inflation. No. no. Look at Japan. They can't get out of deflation. Fifteen years later. We'll have to be print money. Um, excuse right. me, but I printed more. But I think that they're probably going to peg the money to gold once again, just like they did in the 30s and 40s and whatever it was, and. Uh, talking about something in the vicinity of $2,500 to $3,000. What? Uh, gold. For gold. For gold. So is that a recommendation, recommendation to buy? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to be very careful when you're listening to um, you. people recommending holding certain asset classes, um, whether they're from the buy side or the sell mm -hmm. side of the street. Mm -hmm. Sell side never has to own anything. They only can re only recommend. <laughs> um, the buy side, you bought it. You have to live with the consequences. And your client might not like it. And um, so I think you're seeing a lot of the buy side are telling you you should be in equities, you should be in gold, you should be in anything that could go through over their trading desk and make money. <laughs> and um, including the biggest Ponzi scheme of all time, which is called Social Security. <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, all of these things we, yes. we sort of have to live through, and, and I think it's going to get messy. So uh, gold, I think, you know, with due respect to you, I, I think gold is, is a very simple thing. It's, it's a currency. Gold is, a, is something that, you know, people carry around with. It sort of looks nice, it shines. You can polish it. And you can polish it or do whatever the hell you want to do with it. But, but it's, uh, it's not that there's anything special. It's not a commodity, I think it's a currency. Gold, if you look at total gold production, uh, is something in the vicinity of 3,000 tons a year. Uh, a ton of, a metric ton is 36,000 ounces. You do the math, it's tiny. The, the, the dollars involved are tiny compared to, you know, a bailout package for, for Royal Bank of Scotland or a bailout package for uh, uh, Fortis, you know, in, in in Brussels, so it's. Um, I think gold's. It's it's very very sort of difficult to gauge what people are doing, but if you look at the hoarding that's going on, and I see it, I have clients call up and say, "Oh, uh, you know, I want to buy some gold," and uh, it's you know it's it's going to have a force of its own. I think there's a lot of people that are just buying and saying, "You know, I don't get anything for yen, I don't get anything for dollars, I don't get anything for Swiss francs." And euros pretty soon won't get anything either, so I might as well get nothing for gold. And and it, I don't think there's really a lot more behind that. And um, so some of the traditional hoarders, the Middle East, uh, South Asia, are going to be there. But I think the the uh, you're going to get, I think, on the margin, a um, an increase in, uh, in buying gold. I hope it goes down.